the coastal plains and the islands a coast is a land beside or near to a sea or an ocean india has a beautiful coastline that stretches all around the indian peninsula on the east we have the eastern coastal plains and on the west we have the western coastal plains the length of the coastline is about 6000 km and width varies from 50 km in the south to 250 km in the west it extends from the run of kutch in the west to the west bengal in the east the western coastal plains the western coastal plains lies between the western ghats and the arabian sea they begin with gujarat and go southwards through the western parts of maharashtra goa karnataka and kerala they end in kanyakumari in the south on the northern of the coast there happens to be two gulfs namely of gulf of kambath and the gulf of kutch these plains can be divided into three parts the gujarat coast the konkan coast and the malabar coast The Gujarat coast lies towards the north. The Konkan coast is situated in the middle, while the Malabar coast lies in the south. The coastline is narrow, rocky, and rugged in nature. That is why lighthouses along the coast warn ships about the rocks that lie just beneath the surface of the sea. The Malabar coast is famous for tourists. Lagoons are shallow salt water lakes that have been separated from the sea by rocks or sandbars. These are also known as backwaters and are found mainly in Kerala. Lagoons are a major tourist attraction. Kochi is the most important port on the Malabar coast. The climate in western coastal plains is hot and humid throughout the year. The region receives heavy rainfall during the monsoon season. The eastern coastal plains. The eastern coastal plains extend from West Bengal coast in the east to the Tamil Nadu coast in the south. It is lined between the Eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal. It is divided into two parts: the northern part, known as the Northern Sirkars, and the southern part, known as the Coromandel Coast. This plain is wider than the Western Coastal Plains. Its average width is about 120 kilometers. The region is very fertile, and plenty of water is available for growing rice and sugar cane. In the Northern Sirkars, Vishakhapatnam is an important port. At the Coromandel coast, Chennai is the most important port. It is also the third largest port in India. Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, and Kaveri are important rivers that form deltas along the eastern coastal plains. These plains experience a temperature of over thirty degrees Celsius, characterized by high humidity level. Abundant rainfall is received by this region that amounts in between one thousand mm to three thousand mm annually. The plains are subject to southwest as well as northeast monsoon rains. The islands. An island is a piece of land surrounded by water. India has many big and small islands. There are two main island groups in India: the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal and the Lakshadweep Islands in the Arabian Sea. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands is one of the seven union territories of India and is located in the Indian Ocean. Port Blair is the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The territory comprises 572 tropical islands, of which 36 are inhabited, with unique wildlife and lush forests. A few of the Nicobar Islands are off limits to tourists. Agriculture is the main occupation. Paddy or rice is the main food crop. Coconut, spices, and rubber are also grown. Indra Point on the Nicobar Islands is the southernmost point of India. Lakshadweep Islands. Lakshadweep is the smallest Indian territory of India, with its capital as Kavarati. Lakshadweep has a total of about thirty-six islands, but people live on only eleven islands. These islands are surrounded by beautiful coral reefs. Corals are sea creatures with hard body coverings. Most of the beaches in the Lakshadweep are temporarily formed when gusts of wind deposit stony particles along the shores. Most of the people here rely on agriculture, fishery, and tourism for a living. Coconut is the main crop cultivated here. Rice fruits such as bananas and vegetables are also grown here. Fishing is the main livelihood of the people. The people speak Malayalam, Tamil, and Mahal. People living in the coastal plains. Let us discuss the life of the people in the states and union territories that lie mainly in the coastal plains. In this chapter, we shall discuss about the life of people in Gujarat, Goa, Kerala, Odisha, and Pondicherry. Gujarat. Gujarat lies in the northwestern part of India. Gandhinagar is the capital of the state. 
Farming is the main occupation of the people of this state. The main crops grown here are bajra, jawar, sugarcane, cotton and groundnut. The people of Gujarat are called Gujaratis. Most Gujaratis live in a joint family. They speak Gujarati, Bhili and Hindi. Navratri is widely celebrated before the Shara. Thapla, Khandvi, Dhokla, Ghogra and Chola Fali are some of the special dishes of the state. Gujarat is also famous for deserts like Halvasan, Basundi, Sutarfeni and Ghebar. Ras Garba and Bhavi are some of the popular dance forms of the state. Goa To the south of Maharashtra lies Goa. It has many beautiful beaches. Its capital is Panaji. Konkani is the main language of Goa. Vasco da Gama is the largest city of the state. Fishing and farming are the main occupations followed by the people of Goa. Rice, cashew areca, nut and coconut are mainly grown. The beautiful beaches of Goa like Kalangut, Anjuna, Vagdor etc. attract tourists from all over the world. People enjoy eating rice, vegetables, meat and fish. Kerala Kerala lies in the extreme south of the western coastal plains. Trivanthapuram is the capital of the state. The main occupation of the people of the state is agriculture. Rice is the main crop cultivated in the state. The other crops include tea, rubber, coffee, cardamom, cashew nut, banana, coconut and sugarcane. Kerala is famous for traditional industries. Some of the items manufactured are coir, handlooms and handicrafts. Kerala is the most literate state of India. Malayalam and English are the main languages spoken here. Anamudi in Kerala is the highest peak in the western Ghats. Kerala is famous for its temples like the Guru Vayur Temple and Sabri Mala Temple. Kathakali and Mohinatham are the main classical dancers. Onam is a popular festival. Snake boat races are held during Onam festival. Odisha Odisha is located on the east of India by the Bay of Bengal. Bhuvaneshwar is the capital of Odisha. Chilka Lake is in this region. Odisha is the home to many tribes that have their own style for clothes. Mahanadi is the major river that flows through this state. The Hirakun Dam is built across river Mahanadi. The coastal region of the state is hit by major cyclones almost every year. The state is famous for temples such as Lingaraja Temple at Bhuvaneshwar, Jagannath Temple at Puri and the Sun Temple at Konark. The Rath Yatra of Odisha is a special festival associated with Lord Jagannath in Puri. Puducherry The Union Territory of Puducherry, earlier known as Pondicherry, lies to the south of Chennai. The people here speak French and Tamil. The main occupation of the people is farming. Farmers mainly grow rice, oil seeds, sugarcane and coconut. Puducherry is famous for Sri Aurobindo Ashram. Masquerade or Mask Festival is an important festival of Puducherry. People of the Islands The Union Territory of Andaman and Nicobar Islands comprises of two island groups, the Andaman Islands and the Nicobar Islands. The islands of Lakshadweep and Andaman and Nicobar are mostly inhabited by tribals. They live in their old and traditional way. Fishing is the main occupation and coconut is the main crop. Paddy rice is the main food crop and is mostly cultivated in the Andaman groups of islands. Different kinds of fruits such as mango, sapota, orange, banana, papaya, pineapple and some root crops are grown on the islands. The Nicobari dance is one of the most important and oldest traditional dances of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Some of the famous dances of Lakshadweep Islands include the Kolkali, Parichakali and Lava.